Thanks. Matthew, you must have been in turmoil in the last few days, but you're not sure whether you should run because of your, the illness that you've had. You finally made the decision. It's obviously the right decision. You're through to the semi-final. Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, this next round will be my final, but that decision wasn't made by me. Frank Dick told me that I was running on the warm-up track. He said, you come this far, you've got to run now. And I've spoken to you in the last two days, and obviously like, to the great John Walker, the godfather of middle distance running, and uh, I listened to what you said, and that was very much in my mind. And today, largely in my mind, is what you were talking to me about a couple of days ago, about running against the track. And if you're out there, just give it 100%, you couldn't hope for any more. And I had to get my belief in myself, my confidence, in the 20 minutes inside there, you know, and before there was no confidence at all. Well, you ran, you know, you set a pace, you looked as though you were going for a physical workout as well as obviously qualifying for the next round. How did you feel yourself? Well, I felt like I was training, actually. I mean, I felt like my training partner was, like, trying to burn me up in the last 200, you know. He stepped in on 1,000 with, like, 400 to go to place me out, come past me at 200. I knew if I could hold him off by the 200 meter mark, I would qualify. But I did expect Morcelli to come by a bit quicker. And I don't think Morcelli's got what he did have, like, last year, because normally I expected him to come past. But when he normally comes past, he'd opened up about 10 metres, 15 metres, like he did last year to me in the semi-finals. But he ain't now. I could have got back at him today. You know, I felt I was cut up and I'd got back in the stride coming into the straight, held off Fulberger, who's obviously a bronze medalist, um, and finished fifth. You know, held on to it. But I wanted to have a fastest qualifier time. I would have just got in with that, I think. But, you know, obviously, I've enjoyed it today. And uh, when I walked in here for the 100 metres, uh, final with Linford, I think that impressed me. I thought if I go out there, I've got to do the performance because the crowd is like, just incredible. It's not like Tokyo. Well, the thing about it is you've made satisfactory progress to the semi-final. Like you said, the semi-final is your final. You haven't let anybody down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was thinking about Peter out there, uh, you know, hoping he was going to get better. And I was thinking like, what would Elliot do in this situation? And I knew he'd go out and do it. And I felt, you know, as well as like letting myself down if I didn't run and obviously close friends and people at home, I was letting Peter down because, you know, he, you know, if he felt he was right to come out, obviously his decision was delayed and he's not here, but I felt like I was doing it for Peter in a way. Same as like when we ran in 1990 and he had the gold and I had the bronze in the eight. You know, it seemed that, you know, we were together on that one. I was thinking of Peter at home and thinking what would he be like in this situation. And well, I think you've progressed so far very satisfactorily, Matthew. Well done. Good luck in the semi-final. Yeah, thanks a lot, bro.